Hello, hello, grade 12s. Welcome back to the channel, Science Therapy, hosted by the one and only science therapist, O Abutiwasos O Gobela Wemets. And without any further ado, let's look at this question that we have here. Okay, so we are given question seven. It says in the diagram below, A, B, and C are in the same horizontal plane. P is a point vertically above A. The angle of elevation from B to P is alpha. And then A, C, B is beta. A, B, C is theta. And B, C is 20 units. So basically everything has been indicated here on the diagram. Then uh, 7.1 says write A, P in terms of A, B, and alpha. So we can see everything that they've talked about, the A, P, A, B, and alpha are all in this triangle here, A, P, B. Right, so this is triangle APB. So we're going to say in triangle APB, this is what we have. Now, remember, we are trying to write AP in terms of AB and alpha. So this is our AP in reference to the alpha. This is our a AP, which is the opposite side, and the AB is the adjacent side. Now, according to Sokha Tawa, uh, what trig ratio should we use now? We should use tan because we have the opposite side and the adjacent side. So this will be tan alpha. Our opposite is AP, but our adjacent is AB. But then we are supposed to make AP the subject of the formula. So that's AP is equal to AB tan alpha, right? So for two marks, that's all you were supposed to do. So this was 7.1. Now 7.2 says says prove that ap is 20 sine b tan alpha over sine theta plus beta right then okay this is how you should do it remember we are still within the strategy that says that we must look for the common side in between the given triangles right so the other triangle that we are given is triangle abc and then as we can see here the common side is ab so in all these expressions we should try to have ab we already have ab from a triangle apb that means we must also try to express in terms of ab in triangle abc so we're gonna go uh, ahead and say in triangle in triangle ABC, this is what we have. This is a non right angle triangle. That means Sokato cannot apply here. We can only apply the what? The sine rule. But then, in order to get the sine rule, we need to find uh, the angle in here. So, if we have theta here and then we have beta, what is the angle in here? We need to say 180 minus the theta minus the beta. So, we can write it as 180 minus theta plus beta right so this is how we express it because if we want to find the angle in here we would need to take 180 subtract the angle here and then subtract the angle here right so this becomes our angle and then now uh, to express this remember we should express in terms of a b because this is the common side but then we are trying to find uh, the value for a p now let's go ahead we're going to say sine 180 minus a uh, so bigger bracket 180 minus theta plus beta inside the bracket and then close it off with a bigger bracket and then this uh, is opposite to which side is opposite to the 20 there 20 units and then is equals to if we are taking the sine beta there this is opposite to this uh, common side which is a b so it is best that we take that one and then we can see that we are still uh, in the picture there because as we can see here the angle that we have is beta so this is sine beta over uh, a b right over a b now here this is in the second quadrant this is still the same as using your reduction formula for the second quadrant if you have sine 180 minus a we know that this uh, reduces to sine a so the same thing will happen here this here you will treat it as angle a this is a whole angle so you need to say sine theta plus beta the same way you did here so you treat this theta plus beta as if it was angle a then over what over 20 
is equals to sine theta over AB. Now let's cross multiply here. We will have AB uh, sine theta plus beta is equals to cross multiply here 20 sine beta. Right. Then if we make AB the subject of the formula, we need to divide both sides by this sine theta plus beta. So both sides sine theta plus beta. Right. Then now this and this obviously cancels out. So we have a uh, AB is equals to 20 sine beta over sine theta plus beta. Then let's call this equation number two. And then what we have up here, equation number one. Now at this point, we can say, let's substitute. So we are going here. Let's substitute equation two into equation one, right? So in the place of a, b, I will substitute this whole expression. So that means I will have AP is equals to what? 20 sine beta over sine theta plus beta. But then remember, I'm left with this tan, tan a alpha here. So that's multiplied by tan alpha. And then just like that, you can see that my AP is 20 sine beta and then tan alpha over sine theta plus beta, which is exactly what we were trying to prove here. So that's how you were supposed to go about it. And then, yeah, this was only for, a, for only three marks. So you might say that uh, they were a bit unfair in terms of the mark allocation, but then uh, it is what it is. At the end of the day, you were just uh, supposed to prove that. Okay, so now let's move to 7.3. So in 7.3, they say given that AB is equal to AC, so AB is equal to AC. Now they say determine AP in terms of alpha and beta in its simplest form. Now, if AB is equal to AC, we know that triangle ABC is now what we call an isosceles triangle, right? And then that means uh, your theta there and your beta are now equal because remember, the base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal, right? So base angles of isosceles uh, triangle are equal. But then how is that going to work to our advantage? Remember, we are supposed to express AP in terms of only uh, the alpha and the beta, right? So that means we must replace the theta there. We want to replace the theta with what? A beta, because now we have concluded that alpha is equal to beta as a result of the base angles of an isosceles triangle. So we have AP is equal to 20 sine beta and then multiplied by tan alpha. And then over here, we have sine. Remember, theta is equal to beta, so we'll replace the theta with a beta. So we'll have beta plus beta. And then just like that. Now, this is AP is equal to 20 sine beta and then tan alpha. But then now, beta plus beta gives me sine to beta. Now, looking at this, we can see that from grade 12, this will produce a double angle identity for sine. And then this is 20 sine beta, tan alpha over this one. When it breaks down, it breaks down to 2 sine beta and then cos beta. Now, at this point, we can see the sine beta and the sine beta are the same. So they will just cancel out. But what is 20 divided by 2? That's 10. So up here, we have 10 tan alpha over cos beta. So that's equals to what? AP. So this is our AP in its simplest form. And that's how you were supposed to approach this question, all for a total of 8 marks. So... Just like that, we've came to the end of the lesson. So please press the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed the lesson and then you found it helpful. And if you've been watching the videos and haven't subscribed yet, 
please hit that subscribe button but most importantly please share the link with your friends and classmates so that they may also find assistance remember do not be selfish we are winning as a team